Did you know there's an entire underground butt market where you can go to buy injections for your keister? And they're administered by people that aren't actually qualified to be giving them. They're not medical professionals. And yesterday, a mother and daughter duo got arrested for this. They travel around and give people some injections into their tuchus to try and elevate their ass game to the next level. And they would have got away with it too if it wasn't for those meddling medical license requirements. You can't really just go around giving people medical procedures unless you're qualified to do so. For the obvious reason of it's dangerous, people die from it all the time, from botched procedures. Even something as simple as getting your fucking butt cheeks blasted here with whatever substance they were administering, which they're still investigating what they're even giving them. For all we know, they could have been dishing out BBLs using fucking Play-Doh in a syringe, blasting like hamburger meat into their butt. Like, there's no telling. It could have been anything. But anyway, they made a public appearance yesterday. Uh, right now, they're out on bail. But I'll, I'll introduce you to Goof and Goober here real quick. Consuelo Maria Del Bo made her first appearance in a Harris County court yesterday. She faces a felony drug charge and a misdemeanor of practicing medicine without a license. Del Bo spoke with our news partners in Houston while out on bond. She says her passion is helping people and boosting their confidence. Believe me, everything I do, I do it with my heart. And everybody who knows me, they know me sometimes I do it because they really need it. What a bunch of fish paste. What do you mean? She's making it sound like she's some kind of saint for doing this, as if it's like a required procedure that some people need but just can't afford. You and your daughter were just preying on people's insecurities to make a fat payday. You were charging thousands of dollars to show up to their residence with a mystery liquid and a syringe. That could have just been turkey gravy for all we know. No one needs an ass booster. She's trying to frame this like she was doing a good deed or a valuable service. You weren't. Unless there was someone born without butt cheeks and they can't sit down because they just slide off the chairs or if they lay down in bed they just fucking squeak off the side or something. There's nobody in the world that needs this done. Look at the mother and daughter in Texas who got arrested for illegally giving people butt injections. Bootleg BBLs? Oh, this is nine hours ago. Mother and daughter accused of performing illegal butt injections, arrested in sting operation in Texas. Mm-mm-mm. That'll get you every time. Getting your BBL from Wish. Mother and daughter accused of performing illegal butt injections without any medical expertise were arrested in Texas. Consuelo Dalbo, 56, and her daughter Isabella Dalbo, 18, have been charged with practicing medicine without a license. A misdemeanor. How is that only a misdemeanor? Like, that, that should be so much more severe. Well, I know a misdemeanor can be pretty severe, though. I mean, that's, that's big stuff. Practicing medicine without a license? Like, come on. Come on. People die from this shit. Court documents reveal the women went to a home to perform the butt injections on a customer who was actually an undercover peace officer. <laughs> and they plan to charge 6000 for the service. Are they calling them peace officers now? Instead of police? Is this like some kind of rebrand or something? Why are they calling him a peace officer? That's some Hunger Games shit. The woman, the women apparently were not even sure what was in the injectables, described as an unlabeled brown liquid. A motion for bail written by Harris County District's Attorney Office said, This fundamentally demonstrates how remarkably dangerous these acts were. Consuelo Dalbo allegedly provided a Xanthax, geez, Xanthax, Jesus Christ, provided a Xanax to the prospective customer for the purpose of relaxing her before the injections began. The women were ultimately arrested separately in the sting. Authorities also confiscated bags containing the illegal injectables and medical equipment. They were accused of traveling across the country to give clients these illegal injections. The investigation into the pair was conducted by Houston Police Department's Major Offenders Division Food Drug Administration agents. What a long title. And Homeland Security. They're prohibited from practicing medicine without a license, as I think anyone in the world would be. In 2021, police said a mother and daughter duo were charged with a murder in California after they performed a botched butt injection that resulted in the October 2019 death of 26-year-old Carissa Rajpal. Police said that the mother and daughter had no medical certification. It was believed neither had any type of training. The jury found them guilty of involuntary manslaughter last month. Also in 2021, a Dallas woman was sentenced to five years in prison for causing a nightclub dancer's death by performing an illegal butt injection on her in Missouri in 2015. 
Bro, these butt injections get you every time. That's like a speed run to meet your maker. The butt has a lot of nerves and some important veins, if I remember correctly, so if it's performed badly, shit like this can happen. This can, ha this can happen with any kind of procedure, though, from someone that's not actually licensed. There was a Instagram model, actually, she might have just been like a full-blown big model, I can't remember, who died after a botched knee surgery that was supposed to, like, remove a little, like, what was it, a little cartilage around her knee, because she didn't like the way her knees looked. So this can just happen anywhere, if you're being tended to by a less than qualified professional. That's what it was, removing fat from her knee. That's what it was. And it was a Brazilian influencer who suffered cardiac arrest after liposuction on her knee went wrong. Which is a crazy procedure to get in the first place. Removing some fat from your knee? You fucking kidding me? There was also that billionaire who died after getting a penis injection to make his dick bigger. Why a billionaire died during penis enlargement? Oh yeah. This was in 2019. There was a diamond trading billionaire. His name was Ehud R. L Lenido. Are you fucking kidding me? I already turned my ad block off for you. Now you're not going to let me read the article unless I sign up for this? You've got some nerve, man. It's incredible. It, the gall. The, ad, the state of the goddamn internet. And you're going to autoplay an ad for me? God, Jesus. What a joke. A wealthy Belgian diamond dealer has died of cardiac arrest following a cosmetic surgery in a Parisian clinic to enlarge his sex. Penoplasty is a surgical technique that dates back to 1990. Increasingly more popular, it has become a $5 billion market. What? The go-go gadget extendo dick? I just didn't think these would be popular. I actually didn't even know these existed until pretty recently. I thought that was one of those things that you just had to fucking suck up. I knew they had some procedures for micro penises, but I didn't think you could really do one on like a normal, just small one. The Belgian Israeli diamond dealer living in the US traveled to Paris to have the operation and succumbed to it. He checked into the clinic on the 2nd of March to enlarge his sex, said one of the medical personnel. The operation turned bad and the client had a cardiac arrest. The doctors could not save his life. Well, yeah, I mean, they're fucking, they're, they're dick doctors. You got the fucking penis patrol in there. What are they going to do to try and bring him back from cardiac arrest? <laughs> Shit, his heart is stopping. Jerk him off. God, uh, five cc's of epinephrine right into the nutsack. Quick. That's just all the information they have about it. <laughs> this is not a good... I wanted a little more info on it. This site just has like two paragraphs dedicated to it and then nothing but ads. It's like, yeah, this billionaire died from cock improvement procedure. But anyway, have you checked out these bikes? Did they finish the enlargement? <laughs> yeah, imagine he can feel himself fading away. He sees the light at the end of the tunnel, but he's like, No, please! Not with this sad, tiny micro. Just... Don't save me. Save it. Quick. God, please. Yeah, there's really just not a whole lot of info about it. This guy just died and they forgot about him. Open casket and open trousers. Yeah, imagine it's just like an open casket, but not like the actual head part. It's just like his lower body and he's nude. They all just point and laugh at him at the funeral service. Wang made a TikTok about him. He said the dude was apparently really insecure about himself, including his actual height. He was so insecure that he would have his secretary read his bank statements to make him feel better. <laughs> that, that can't be real. That's gotta be, fu that's gotta be fake. I'm feeling bad about being five foot six. Can you please pull up the bank statements, Miss Secretary? I need something to smile about. There was a story of a patient who burst into flames on the operating table. It was an issue with the O2 anesthesia and a spark. It's probably been more than 12 years now. Holy fuck, that sounds terrifying. What? <laughs> Imagine you're just going in for like a routine procedure and all of a sudden you fucking combust. Oh my god. It's horrifying. Jackson just messaged me today about general anesthesia because he has to get his wisdom teeth out and they're so bad that they're actually going to put him under for it. Now he got me worried that he's just going to blow up. Turn him into a goddamn bomb. <laughs>